this video we are going to see a problem based on continuous time convolution so here is the problem so we have to convolve two signals given like this one is the impulse response which is h of t given as e raised to minus t u of t and second signal is the input which is x of t is nothing but unit step function u of t so h of t is a impulse response and x of t is the input signal With the help of this two signals, we need to get the output by convolution formula. So we need to get a y of t, that is nothing but x of t convolved with h of t. And y of t is our output signal. The first thing is that we will plot the signals. So e raised to minus t u of t. Because of u of t, the signal will exist from 0 to infinity like this. So here it's a t axis, and we will get a signal like this. So at t equal to 0, it is having a value 1. So this signal we obtained is h of t x of t is a unit step so it is quite easy that means it will have the value 1 from 0 to infinity like this so these are the two signals given and we need to find out a convolution to get a y of t so the formula that we are going to use is this y of t is integral x of tau into h of t minus tau into d tau limits will be from 0 to t in the end it is decided by the area which is common between them so let's solve it the first step we are going to do over here is replacing t by tau and at the same time i will do one more step that is time reversal of this or this so i will consider a time reversal of h of tau so we will get a signal like this as we discussed earlier we are going to consider this t axis as tau so it will be like this it's tau and then this tau here x of tau we are keeping as it is and we are just taking a time reversal of h of tau so x of tau as it is so it will be like this and h of minus tau will get like this Now, h of minus tau, if I compare with this, I will come to know, if I put t equal to 0 in this, I will get h of minus tau. So, in other words, I can consider this phenomena or this particular case where shift is 0, t equal to 0. Why we are doing this? Because we will be getting a y of t at t equal to 0 here itself where we can say no area is common between x of tau and h of t minus tau for t equal to 0 hence 
I can say y of t equal to 0 straight away but the condition apply that is only applicable when t equal to 0 so we are getting a first output for zero shifting like this moreover what i will do now i have reversed this so i will delay this sequence first okay and i will delay it by any amount t so the resultant signals will look like this this is x of tau and i'm delaying this by t amount so we will get a signal like this this is equal to 1 and this is a shift which is t so the sequence that i obtained over here is h of t minus tau and since i have delayed this so i need to notify somewhere so i'll notify over here t less than zero that means i have delayed this sequence by t so here once again no area is common between these two signals so that here also i can say y of t equal to zero So what we have done till now for zero shift we got output for shift which is less than zero for any number we got a output now only case left is delaying this by any amount t so let's do it now what we are going to do we are going to advance signal by t amount so the resultant signal will look like this So this is shift since we are advancing advancing means what t is greater than 0 and the signal that we obtain over here is h of t minus tau so what we will get over here we will get a area common between these two signals like this And more importantly, what we are interested in knowing is what are the limits where the area is been formed. So since here some area is common, so we have y of t as integral. The integral limits will be decided by the limits of the area. So this is the area that we got. So here it is 0 and here it is t. So but obvious here it is 0 to t. And the value of x of tau is 1 only but h of t minus tau since h of tau is e raised to minus tau hence i will get h of t minus tau as e raised to minus t minus tau d tau so i will get this expression and solving this integral will result in e raised to minus t multiplied by e raised to tau d tau so e raised to minus t can be taken out and integral of e raised to tau is e raised to tau and the limits are 0 to 1 so if i apply the limits i will get e raised to minus t e raised to 1 minus e raised to 0 
So solving this integral and simplifying, we will get e raised to minus t into e raised to tau limit 0 to t. And if you solve, since e raised to minus t is a constant, I can take it out of an integral. e raised to tau integral is e raised to tau, limits are 0 to t. So if I apply the limits, you will get this expression, which further reduce and you will get y of t as 1 minus e raised to minus t. And this is for t greater than 0. So now I'm having y of t which is equal to 0 for t less than 0. This is equal to 0 for t equal to 0. And y of t is 1 minus e raised to minus t for t greater than 0. So using this information, we can plot y of t. So it's quite simple, for t less than 0 it is 0, for t equal to 0 is also 0. If I put t is minus infinity, I will get the value as 1. If I put t as infinity, I will get e raised to minus infinity which is 0 and 1 minus 0 is 1 only. What is the meaning of this? The meaning of this is that this is a limit we can have. And our signal will reach the value 1 when t is equal to infinity. So we will get a y of t like this. So this is a graph of y of t which we obtain as a result of convolution of x of t and h of t. Thank you.